Hey, I am going to try and follow Tom Gull's acorn squash recipe because this girl has to learn how to cook and this is keto and it looks delicious. So I've already got the onions cut. We sharpened the knives so that they're prepared to cut the acorn squash. And we'll let you know how it all goes, little bit by little bit. So the onions are in. We're gonna caramelize them. <laughs> Cooking in the kitchen with mom and me today is going to be an adventure. I might have dropped one, but we won't put that in, I promise. Let's see how this goes. See, look, on the stove. Please keep in mind that I can't cook, nor do I enjoy cooking. So, we'll see how this goes. Because now that I have embarked on this keto journey for a month or two, it's gonna necessitate cooking instead of just grabbing and going. So, we'll see how it goes. Keep it close. I'm not sure. We're not gonna film me actually cutting into this squash because it could be tragic. So <laughs> we have the choice of knives. I've gotten it down to these two. I think we're gonna go with this one so that once we get in there, we can keep cutting straight down, okay? If I still have 10 more fingers, or not 10 more fingers, if I still have 10 fingers when we're done with this, we'll turn it back on. Otherwise, if this video is incomplete, it's because I'm in the emergency. Five, 10. I missed a couple times. I literally can't see out of this eye, so. I aimed for the center, I went right, I went left, and then I said, screw it, and just put the knife in. So it went in, so we're gonna do this. Ta -da! I know you can't see, but look. One, two. I'm gonna do that again on the second one. We're gonna add the sausage to the garlic and just let them go. The onions are caramelizing. Look, mom's doing the things. I don't know if you can see mom doing the things. We're gonna bring you over here so you can see mom doing the things. Mm -hmm. I know how to put sausage in the garlic, yay! Mom can cook better than me. Okay, I cannot turn a camera and carry a tray at the same time, so we're gonna try and do this. Yeah. See how we did that? They're ready to go in the oven. Season them. Tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of cayenne in the oven. It's preheated at 400. In they go. Oh, Siri, you're in use. Now I gotta set the oven timer instead of, hey Siri, but 20 minutes. Let's see how this baby rolls. Look, I'll take you over here. Whoop, bad angle. There's the sausage. There's the onions. I'll catch up with you shortly. Let you know how it goes. Oh my God, if you could smell it in here. <gasps> okay, let's look at the onions. I put the onions in with the sausage. Added a little bit of, I think Tom said, rosemary and thyme. I don't have any fresh, so it's dry, but that's okay. Cause I don't cook, so I don't have fresh herbs on hand, but the squash is done. Are you ready for this? I'm gonna take it out of the oven. Hopefully I'm not gonna burn myself. Cause again, I can't cook. Oh my God, mom, can you come hold the camera? Cause they gotta see this before I take it out. Just tilt or pick up the whole stick and tilt. Yes, can you see that? Oh my word. We're directing as we go. Okay, lift. Holy kittens, you guys. I did not burn myself taking these out of the oven. Those look amazing. I'm going to attempt to flip them. I don't have grabber grabbers, but I have tongs. So we're gonna see if I can do this. Wish me luck. Don't laugh if I drop these, okay? Oh, okay, so we're gonna do this. This could still go very, very wrong. Hush. I did preface this with I can't cook. Oh my God. Uh-huh. Two, three, one more. Hey, girl. 
Look at how amazing that is. All right, I'm gonna put the apples in with the sausage now. Before I stab myself with the knife, I'm gonna put the apples in with the sausage and then I'll bring you back to stuff them. Oh my God. Okay, so our amazing little thing here. Can you see that? Oh my word. Caramelized onions, Granny Smith apple. I put in about one and a half because we're making four, well, two squash, but for four people. A uh, little over a pound-ish of sausage. A little rosemary, a little thyme. It's all happy. The squash is all cooked and now I'm going to attempt to find the perfect spoon so as not to scrape the pan when I fill the squash. The plastic spoons are too ginormous, so this could be a huge mess. But let's see how this goes. Yeah. We'll take the black one because it's got a little, you know, do thingy. Yeah, I can do this and not burn myself and not drop any mixture. We are on a roll. Pot holder would be helpful. I know you guys are only seeing part of this. You're not seeing me scoop. Oh my God, if you could smell this, holy cats. Let's, um, we need to bring this over here or put that over there. Let's make sure we turn the burner off because, oops, sometimes I have to get on. Again, I am going to remind you once again, I can't cook. I don't like to cook. This is easy. And very keto friendly. See, I'm already dropping stuff. But we'll go back and get that. Oh, this is more than enough filling. So again, I used a little over a pound of sausage, about one and a half Granny Smith's, a large yellow onion. And according to Tom's recipe, which I highly recommend that you go back and watch in its entirety for all of the details, you can use lots of different things to fill. Anyway, before this becomes a tragic mess, and we're gonna finish strong while we're ahead, I made these in advance. I'm gonna go teach a yoga class now, and then when I get home, we will put them in the oven, warm them up, and I'll let you know how they heat up. Okay, I'm back from yoga. Mom warmed these back up. I think we did about 400 um, for, I think a total of what, 25, 30 minutes. Uh, covered them in foil. They hung out in the fridge for maybe three hours in between when we first made them and now. I'm gonna turn this off because it's really loud and they look amazeballs. I mean, the lighting that you're seeing them under is definitely not optimal, but I'm about to burn my face off and taste it so that I can taste it on the camera. Not that I'll be able to taste it after I burn my face off, but you know, let's try. Oh yeah, the squash is definitely Definitely done, holy cats. All right, commence face burning. I can't get any sausage. Oh my God, here we go. Okay, ready friends? Oh my gosh. Oh my God, that's just a filling. That is so good. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off now so that you guys don't have to watch me inhale this. Peace. Go to Tom Gull's site. I will put the link in here so that you guys can see what his page is, what his YouTube is, so that you can actually go watch this, be prepared correctly. Oh my God, I'm drooling. And get the recipe. Peace out. Love you.